funny how I cough right when I start that off. It's not funny. It's just clearing the way. I just walked the hill, the canyon, and I'm going to recount my experience as best I can to you. There's a clog in this. Maybe that's because I didn't tell you something. I was going to tell you that I didn't smoke any weed today. I walked the hill sober. First I took, well, David and I went up to North Hollywood, to Studio City, and he bought a pull-up bar. And we had a good conversation. The last thing he said to me as I was coming back, as I dropped him off, was release. So I went up to the hill with just a bottle of water and my sunglasses. I left everything else in my car. There's a parking spot right in front of the entrance and I traveled up. So many things happened on the way. Little things. Things that normally I wouldn't see. I would see but I wouldn't see. And I was listening to everything. The dogs. People take their dogs up Runyon Canyon. Dogs don't have leashes, it's very free. I walked up and up and up, a place I've been before, up to a, a lookout point, kind of a, a plateau, and there's two benches. And I got to that point, and at that point, I was still going up the hill. It wasn't, it hadn't been like a, a magical experience, it hadn't been a nothing had been spiritually awakening until the point when I was sitting down there are two benches up on this plateau but there's there's these rocks over on the, the edge of the cliff and the rocks in one spot form a, a seat uh, a spot where I sit I sat last time and I sat again and as I was sitting there relaxing, uh, not really relaxing, but just this is the first time I used my sunglasses. I took my sunglasses out and put them on. And a dog came over and was looking at me. And the dog's owner came over and, and sat down on the dog's owner. Had at one point said to the dog, I saw them earlier on the hill. And he said to the dog, the dog had gone down into the trees and down the hill. And he was yelling, come back. You don't go down there. You don't go down there. You don't go down there, he said it three times. And I thought and said out loud, he did go down there. But then I saw his, his fear, he was, he was creating a reality where the dog doesn't go down there because he was afraid for the dog that it would fall down the hill or get hurt. I saw them again up at the plateau and the man came and sat at the bench right next to me, right here. Probably right here, if I'm right here. Close, I just sat and I was, I was very, relaxed. And then, from behind me, I heard two people, two women, I prefer the term people. One of them said, I never knew that was a seat. And the other one said, yes, it's a, recl a recliner. I, I, and, and I said, it's amazing. And I tried to look back, but my neck has been kind of sore today. And I looked back about this far, kind of got a glimpse. And I sat there for a moment, and I, and I stood up, and I walked off. I realized, I don't know, I felt it was time to go. They'd learned, someone had learned, someone learned something new. There was a seat that they'd never seen before that I was able to show them, or that because I was in that moment doing that, they saw. So I traveled more up the hill to another point where... At this point in the hill, there's two ways to go. This is a newer, there's always, there was another point in the hill where there's two ways to go and I continued up. You can go back down, but I continued up. There's another point in the hill where there's two ways to go. And I didn't, one way, I, it was very far up the hill and I was kind of feeling like I, I, I could go, I could go back down, I, I, you know, I could go home. 
and I, I was standing there at the crossroads, looking in both directions, and in one direction up the hill, I saw a gate, an open gate, but a gate. And I thought, a gate? Why is there a gate there other than to close it? And it looked unappealing to me. I thought, I could, I could go back, I could go. I could go back down. I've, I'm climbing the hill. The experiences were very, I was feeling the wind, and then the wind came. And the wind blew from behind and, and, was, and blew me towards the gate. I said, and I said, okay, I'll go. And I walked with the wind towards the gate and went through the gate and up into the unknown. I'd never been there before in this direction. So I traveled up the gate, up the gated path for a while. And as I was traveling up, I saw what looked like a trailer. Well, it was a trailer. I thought that's odd to have up in Runyon Canyon. I traveled up a little, a little further and then I saw two horses in this small area in a house. And the horses were there just eating. And I stopped and spoke to the horses a little, as if I was talking to a person. And they were looking at me. One of them looked at me first. They were sway-backed. They'd been ridden a lot. And then he walked away, and the other one, who was farther away, walked towards me as I was, as I was watching, calmly, just listening, listening to them. They were eating. I just watched probably for about 10 minutes. It was, it was really amazing to, to be there with horses. Horses. I don't see a lot of horses. So when I do, I'm really amazed at, at what they are. They're beautiful. They're amazing creatures. And uh, after that, I decided to continue up. So I continued up more. And there was a path up to the left, a dirt path that seemed to lead to nowhere. But I'd never been there before. So I decided to explore the dirt path. And as I was traveling, it wasn't long, maybe 15 feet in. I know that I would just walk over and then walk back, but I want, or I, I walked over and as I walked, I was holding my water bottle in my hand. As I was, as I was turned left to go down this new 15 foot path over to the edge of a cliff, a tree reached out and grabbed my hand, the branch grabbed my hand that, I ha that had the water bottle in it. And I stopped and I realized the tree was thirsty. It was a hot day. It grabbed me, it touched me. So I took the water and I unscrewed the cap and went over to the tree, the base of the tree and said, I'll give you some water and poured some for the tree. And I, I looked at the branch and touched the branch and the leaves and then I turned around to continue over this 15-foot this path 